morning dear friends i am dr reginam linus associate professor and hod of electrical and electronics engineering department at sanjay godavat university kolhapur maharashtra under this wind energy conversion system series we have understood different types of control especially pitch angle control and what are the control region of uh, wind turbine and last class we come to know how to the tip speed ratio control we can realize it through the characteristic curves of wind energy conversion system in this lecture i am going to explain how one can implement the tip speed ratio control in permanent magnet synchronous machine with a buck converter for stand alone system that means there is having a permanent magnet wind turbine coupled with the permanent magnet synchronous generator then we will have a buck converter and we have connected to the load so when we apply this uh, tip speed ratio control how the performance will be all those things we are going to learn today before starting this simulation i am going to explain what uh, which wind turbine i have used and uh, what is the tip speed ratio of the optimal tip speed ratio of the wind turbine normally we know the typical value of optimum speed ratio uh, tip speed ratio will be 8.1 and what are all the optimum speed from the wind velocity from 6 meter per second to 12 meter per second i am assuming here 1 kilowatt wind turbine also i have assumed the cutting speed of the wind turbine will be 6 meter per second and how that when the wind velocity is varying between cutting speed and the rated speed how the uh, optimum speed and what are the values of optimum speed and optimum power first i will explain through the white board after that we will go to this simulation and analyzing the results so let me start my white board so this is the wind turbine power details power i already told you 1 kilowatts and speed is 482 rps optimum tip speed typically it we have considered as 8.1 cutting speed will be 6 meter per second so wind velocity so this is for at uh, cutting as i told you the cutting speed is 6 meter per second i have chosen this uh, wind velocity region variation region is from 6.5 meter per second to 12 meter per second so 12 meter per second is nothing but base wind speed so if you have any doubts already in the previous lecture i have explained what will be the cutting speed what will be the rated speed what will be the cutout speed everything i explained with uh, one of the wind turbine so uh, please go through it so other cases the 12 meter per second is nothing but uh, wind turbine uh, base speed wind velocity base base wind velocity so at that time the optimum speed of the wind turbine will be 482 rps that means rated power rated speed of the wind turbine and optimum power will be 1000 uh, 1 kilowatts okay so now this is for your understanding for various wind velocity whenever the wind velocity is decreasing from 12 meter per second to uh 6.5 meter per seconds through 11 10 9 8 7 so these are all the optimum speed these are all the optima power so in this all the cases wind turbine will maintain the optimum tip speed ratio of tip speed of around 8.1 so i hope you understand this is for uh, the region between cutting wind speed and we rated wind speed so cutting wind speed is 6 meter per second so i am assuming that from 6 meter per second 6.5 meter per second to uh, even in practically we can consider from 6 6 meter per second itself so just for uh, getting a high power just i have chosen for uh, seeing the waveform very clearly i have taken from 6.5 meter per second to 12 meter per second so whenever the wind velocity is increasing 
Uh, so optimum speed will also increase and optimum power will also increase how that speed ratio control is the same waveform same out more or less same output optimum speed and optimum power we will get in the simulation result let me open this simulation result now so this is the matlab uh, simulink model in this MATLAB simulink model, I already have explained this uh, the wind turbine model. I already explained for another one kilowatt. So this is for 1060 kilowatt. So if you open this 1060 kilowatts, you then here I have used the power factor as uh, power factor as uh, 1000. 60 uh, power factor is 0.9 therefore it will be written 1060 divided by 0.9 and uh, back uh, base wind speed 12 meter per second and maximum speed and base rotational speed everything I have explained already in the previous video also so now if you see this that's why I have made it 6 kilometer 6 meter per second I am assuming that uh, 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 cutting speed and I have increased the wind velocity till 12 meter per second 12 meter per second we will have uh, one per unit and uh, that uh, one per unit mm, and the output voltage will be maximum of one volt so this is the characteristics of the wind turbine which we have model for in Then we will have this generator. The generator already I have used that pre not a preset model. In our lab we have the generator. That's why I have used the same model. All the inductance, flux linkage, all the values I have mentioned everything here. So I have not used a preset model. Okay. So that uh, J value, F value and torque everything I have mentioned. So now uh, this is what uh, the entire parameter of the machine it is also 1060 kilowatts uh, 1060 watts generator so this what the generator will be so then this is case sinusoidal we know this is a PMSM that's what I have selected sinusoidal salient pole mission and uh, and uh, number of phases are three then I have connected to diode bridge rectifier so output will be the diode bridge the output will be DC then the generator current I have taken this RMS value for feedback purpose the generator current A A block go to I have taken you can see here I have uh, taken here the generator current A for generator feedback then uh, this is the buck converter I have used for understanding purpose the duty cycle I will get it from the closed loop control of this see the duty cycle I am getting so then let me reduce the size so that you will understand uh, the entire view then the entirely buck converter then the feedback IDC and the voltage VDC if you do the product of both we will get power DC and we can see the waveform also power uh, VDC then we have uh, I have taken here PDC for measure C in the scope waveform, IDC, VDC and speed, yes. So speed, this is a yes, feedback feed. I have taken it from uh, bus selector and uh, I have taken the speed. So the speed also I have taken uh, that uh, radius and for finding this tip speed ratio. Tip speed ratio, we should ensure it 8.1, right? So the, bla the blade radius I have considered as 0 0.2 so that we can get the tip speed ratio as uh, the uh, tip speed ratio as 8.1 then uh, power and uh, this what speed feedback I have taken then we will have uh, all the values I hope I have already explained everything so this is the term blocks where we are changing the window velocity between 6 meter per second to 12 meter per second and vice versa so now this is a wind speed I can measure so the wind from the wind speed W is the wind speed wind speed I am changing here 
so i have taken the input as w here so this is what entire flux so now what i am going to do now this simulation time i have mentioned it as maybe i can make it 20 second uh, 20 seconds so now i am running the simulation Inici initially i am making that uh, wind velocity as 6 so let it run the simulation then Let me wait some time, the system is a little slow. There was a error, just to wait some time. Now I am taking 6.5, uh, I think it's 6 meter per second, output power is very less, so 6.5 I am taking uh, initially, so let me run the simulation first, then output uh, power is varying, see I will explain it later, uh, entirely the waveforms, and after some time I am making this to 8 so 8 means wind velocity is increasing therefore optimum speed will also increase output power will be increased i already explained the diff speed ratio in the previous lecture then after uh, some time i am uh, let it be check it whether it is settled or not so then after some time i am making it to uh, uh, 10 meter per second 10 meter per second let the system run so now the output power is increasing then I am uh, making to uh, uh, 12 meter per second 12 meter per second now we will get the output power as maximum power I think we will get 1000 yeah, 1060 uh, watts we will get then after some time now I am reducing to previously I have changed to 10 right so now I am making it to 11, reducing the wind velocity. So let me check, this is 11 meter per second. Therefore output voltage power will be reduced. Output power will be reduced. Then I am making uh, some value as um, maybe 9 meter per second. Then again output power will be further reduced. Then we will maybe we can make it to uh, 7 meter per second. Then yeah, then we we can make to uh, 6.5. This is the last value. 6.5. So if you tune very well and do little more modification and all, you can. Uh, use the cutting speed 6 meter per second so the cutting speed when I make it 6 meter usually 6 meter per second also wind turbine should run so I think it is showing some error I couldn't be able to find out but uh, I hope uh, the concept is very clear to you all then here also I have selected the load based on the calculation for this much power how much uh, uh, maximum output uh, resistance so that we will get the maximum power so this much uh, we have done then now one more thing i forgot to tell i have used here the algorithm diff speed ratio control by using this uh, linear relation between wind velocity and optimum speed that means during the between the cutting speed to uh, rated wind wind velocity the optimum speed is increasing for increasing in the uh, wind velocity so uh, optimum speed and uh, wind velocity is directly proportional so i have used the linear relations to find this uh, in this uh, function block i have uh, used to that then let me go to this uh, let me go to this uh, uh, waveform analysis this is a wind speed 
I have increased from 6.5 again 8 10 meter per second 12 meter per second then again 10 for 11 meter per second then 9 meter per second then 7 6.5 so window velocity so as long as window velocity is increasing so out of generator speed is increasing see generator speed is increasing and then again similarly generator speed is reducing also then DC voltage output voltage will have also since generator speed is in reflecting the output voltage right so that output voltage is increasing then output voltage is reducing as well load current also generator current also increasing then decrease then dc power the power is increasing based on the wind velocity increasing and the optimum speed is increasing power is increasing similarly power is reduced in all the change all the cases see that the speed ratio is more or less constant as 8.1 so this is the main concept behind that the speed ratio control this is applicable for uh, wind speed between uh, wind velocity is between uh, cutting speed and uh, cut out uh, sorry uh, rated wind speed uh, so this much only the clear explanation about the uh, uh, we have tip speed ratio control of wind turbine with PMST generator uh, and the buck converter for standalone system, not for grid connected system, it is for standalone system. Dear friends, I hope you understand how to do the tip speed ratio control for a standalone system by using uh, wind turbine, PMST, and buck converter. So, you have gone through how the a uh, tip speed ratio is maintained constant as 8.1 nearly 8.1 and how that uh, linear relationship between wind velocity and optimum speed is used for MPPT. It is a small MPPT. This way you can use for lookup table method and hill climb searching algorithm and perturb and observe method and different uh, 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 power signal feedback and uh, current signal feedback. This way different uh, feedback algorithms are there in the tip speed ratio control. I hope in future also I can do give different control for uh, I can show you the different uh, tip speed ratio control for wind turbine model. Uh, I hope this topic is very much interesting and understandable. If you have any doubts and if I want to correct anything kindly um, use the comment, uh, comment uh, please mention it in the comment. Uh, I hope this is very much helpful. Wish you all the best. Thank you.